Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com, and today I'm going head to head with a couple of apps, um, kind of photo editing apps, PicStory and PicMix, and they basically do the same thing, allow you to create frames um, of your pictures and then share them out if you so wish. Um, but that's the basic premise they are it's frames um, and filters and whatnot. Um, when you launch them both, um, you're presented with the popular apps upload, popular apps, popular photos uploaded by different um, people who do use the app. Um, and then along the bottom, it's uh, fairly obvious um, shortcuts to go and start creating your own as well. Um, Pick story. Um, you've got kind of two sections. You've got a graphic section, which is kind of graphic frames with pictures and words and all sorts and you've got your simple frames um, which are just you know square with different number of uh, pictures that you can slot in so um, it's pretty straightforward pick a frame then start picking your um, selecting your photos add them in you can select from filters add stickers and those that can be resized as well and moved around wherever you want with your actual pictures you can also zoom in and out so you can get um, the perfect section that you want um, and then when it comes to the end when you're satisfied with everything it makes you create log in with your Twitter or Facebook account which is a bit of a downer um, there is a section also that makes you log into a PicStory account um, but all it is is a login and um, you can't create one if you haven't got one you used to be able to create a PicStory account but they phased it out and um, so only if you had one from before could you log in. If you don't, I'm afraid you're going to have to log in with your Facebook or Twitter account. Um, so once you've done that, then you can go ahead and um, post po post um, the photo. You don't have to share it out to, um, to the social networks if you don't want. You can toggle them off. Um, but the option is, is there because you've logged in to either or. Um, and then you or and then you post it up to your collection on PicStory. What's not actually obvious is the fact that it does save it. It doesn't look like it is because all it says is post after you've given your photo a title. It just says post. Um, but I went into my picture for, um, folder and actually found it in there. So it does save it to your um, device memory. It's just not obvious that it does. Um, so that's PicStory and PicMix again. Um, you, when you create it's got a, one one thing that's very very obvious is that it's got lots and lots and lots of frames to choose from and it's split into kind of occasions you've got birthday frames get well soon frames um you can make custom frames there's exclusive frames there's your standard frames and you've got magic frame which actually is quite nifty the magic frame it uses your device's Alex, um, accelerometer and you shake the device and it will scroll through each time you shake it will change to a different frame um, so that's uh, quite a nifty little um, feature there but again just select your frame then start selecting your pictures it's got filters again lots and lots of filters um, lots of stickers to choose from um, with pick mix what you can also do is adjust the brightness and contrast as well um, so you've got slightly more tools in pick mix than pick story as well and then when you've kind of finalize your picture. Um, with PicMix it does make you create a PicMix account if you don't have one already. So I, I do like that. It doesn't make you log in with a, a, a social networks um, site. Um, it does make you create a PicMix um, account. Um, once you have that you again give it a title and it's actually more obvious that it's going to save to your device because it's a save to photo library and that's kind of ticked and greyed out um, so you can't untick that because it wants you to save it and the thing is you don't actually have to then post it to the public if you don't want to you can just actually you can untick post and just save it to your photo library which again I do like so that's already two points um, for me that um, leans towards pick mix um, and just basically the, the wider variety of frames available in pick mix makes me lean over to that to that side um, that said, both apps are free, so you can download both, um, give them both a try, and then you, you, you can also choose which one, but for me, I definitely 
uh, lean towards pick mix, just the fact that there's so much more um, to choose from. But sometimes more isn't always good. You so a select few is sometimes good. Um, but the fact that both is free is really good, so you can give them both a try and decide as well for yourself. Um, it's available for the Z10, the Q10, I think the Q5. Um, uh, but free, go try that, that is Pick Story and Pick Mix.